Tonight's game of the week pairs a Carter team looking to respond to its coach challenging them and a Morristown West team carried by running back Tyson Johnson who has 12 touchdowns on the season. Scoreless through the first quarter, pick it up second quarter. Caleb Harper catches a screen pass out left and he takes it all the way for a touchdown to make it 6 nothing Hornets. It was a low, low scoring game through three quarters. Tyson Johnson running hard and Caleb Harper making plays for the Hornets on the receiving end on offense. The game turned into a struggle for field position with both teams having impact plays, including this interception for a Barraquette Evans for Morristown West. Now let's move to the fourth quarter. And after their defense forced a turnover on downs, the Hornets put together a nice drive that would set up this play action pass from Chandler Wilson. We'll hear more about this. It goes to the corner of the end zone, finding Caleb Harper again for the touchdown. 13-0 Hornets. Clock ticking down now. Just five minutes left in the game. Mo West needing to get something going, and they do just that. When quarterback Malachi Isom rolls out to his right, finding Brett Blair, who shakes a tackle and walks into the end zone to make it 13-7 after the PAT. The Trojans would get the ball back and have a chance at a Hail Mary with seconds remaining on the clock eventually. But it wasn't enough as the Carter Hornets go on to win this one, 13-7. I'm joined by the winning coach from our game of the week, the Carter Hornets head coach, Coach Presley. Coach Presley, how exciting was that win for you guys? A little, a little nerve-wracking on it all. It, it was a slow night for the offense, but defense stepped up, had a huge night for us. Uh, I couldn't be more proud to get back to 4-4 four and four as we go into a bye week and, and try to get things cleaned up. You told me earlier in this week that you have challenged your players and that you challenged them again after the Anderson County loss. What was the message to your team before this game? Focus and do what we do best and, and, and not make mistakes that hurt us. Uh, you know, we, we, we get in our own way quite often, and, and, and we did that a little bit tonight, but, but we stayed strong. And, and, man, what a performance by our defense. I can't say enough by Coach Helton and Coach Pate. Coach Clifton and Coach Mead and our defensive side of the ball who stepped up big in big time moments uh, when the offense couldn't convert a fourth down or a third down late in the game. They came back and, and it made a huge stop for us and a big interception to end the ball game by A.J. Thomas. So I, I couldn't be more proud of that group right there. You spoke about the defensive side of the ball and the offensive side of the ball. Caleb Harper, your wide receiver, him and your quarterback seem to be on the same page. What was go working so well for them in that game? Uh, he's good, isn't he? Caleb's a good one. Um, it, you know, the first one he had a, uh, a screen pass to the single receiver side uh, where he came underneath. It was a tunnel screen. And, and when Caleb gets behind the lineman and shoots out outside the numbers, it's pretty hard to see him. And, and nobody's going to catch him in a foot race. So he had a big run there. Um, and, then, and then late in the game, uh, when we needed a big touchdown, we were running the ball pretty well. Uh, and, and Chandler made the call on his own to, to check it to, to a ball to, to the back corner to Caleb. And, I mean, maybe by an inch he made the catch with his foot inbound. So about as good as they could do it. Those two work really well together and, and come up big when we need them. Well, thank you for your time, Coach Justin Presley, and congratulations on the win. Go celebrate, my guy. Thank you, Reese. Appreciate it.